Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, a stash of money and checks was discovered behind a bathroom wall by a plumber working at the mega church of televangelist Joel Osteen in Houston, Texas. Now, the revelation was reported Thursday with the morning show radio host George Lindsay being told about November 10th finding during a repair work at the Lakewood Church. Now, um, George Lindsay was on the radio and he was asking callers to call in to tell him uh, what are the amazing things that they ever found. And uh, the plumber chimed in and said he found, you know, a stash filled with money and checks inside a wall when he was doing plumbing work there. Now he said there was a loose toilet in the wall and we removed the towel. We went to go remove the toilet. I moved some insulation away and about 500 envelopes fell out of the wall. And I was like, oh, wow. Now the caller explained to Lindsay that upon discovering the stash of envelopes filled with cash and checks, he immediately contacted the maintenance supervisor and he turned the money over to him. Now, Lindsay said he was in disbelief upon hearing that the plumber had turned in the money. We were like, what are you talking about? Lindsay said the caller explained that in 2014, there was a big story about money being stolen from the Lakewood Church that was never recorded. Covered. Yeah, more than 600,000 in the form of cash, checks, and credit information was stolen out of the church safe back in 2014. Mm -hmm. Now, official from the church acknowledged the money and checks had been discovered while repair work was being done. Now, according to KPRC, to report, which noted that Houston police are still investigating the seven-year-old case involving the disappearance of the $600,000. Now, the Crime Stoppers of Houston told the news outlet it is offering a $25,000 reward leading to the charge and arrest of a potential suspect. Previously, Crime Stoppers offered a $25,000 reward for any information regarding the theft. Wow, wow, somebody's stealing. Yeah, somebody was stealing. But whoever stole it, evidently, why didn't they come back and get it? Did they die or did were they ejected out the church? Or were they going to come back a later date and get it? I mean, that's, that's wild, man. That's wild. Maybe that person was the one who... <laughs> turned away the poor Katrina victims. Uh, when Katrina, you remember, when Katrina was coming, people flooded trying to get refuge in the church, and they were turned away. Mm. Well, guys, mm. ah. and then, well, I guess the supervisor did turn the money in to uh, mm, the police or the church or whatever, but they never said exactly you know, it was 500 envelopes filled with cash and checks. So, mm, was this the was this $600,000 uh, stolen from the church in 2014? Mm, they never said how much exactly it was. Mm, well, that was an honest plumber. Yeah, because uh, the average person would have, uh, they, they would have turned in 250 of the envelopes instead of <laughs> Oh, mm, okay. All right. Well, the Lord knows who it was. Yeah. you Will a man steal from God? Yup. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday they do. Okay. I ain't going to get into that, but uh, I'm going to leave that one to y'all. <laughs> Press that comment button and we'll uh, discuss it. Thank you so very much for watching my video. I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe. Press that subscription button to my channel. And as always imparted, 
Y'all be blessed.